What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the Crane 2, whoa, this is, yeah, the Crane 2, whoa, no, we're going to be talking about the Crane 2S. This handful of gimbal that I could barely hold in one hand. And the reason why I got the gimbal was because the work that I wanted to get into required that I got better stabilization. And the reason why I got the Crane 2S was because a lot of people reviewing that gimbal said that this gimbal can work for 12 hours. And honestly, the first time that I really got to use it was during Adrian's concert. And we were working from 5 p.m. to 11.30. That thing did not lose any power. It was still full battery by the time we were done filming. But granted, I'm using Using the Canon SL3. It's not as heavy as other setup, but I'm pretty sure if I had a heavier setup, it would use a little bit more power. This gimbal is a workhorse and I love it. And with that said, let's go check out what I was able to film on the Crane 2S. about this gimbal is that I could set up my tripod mount directly towards the little mount that's connected to the gimbal mount. I, I don't know what you call that thing. But anyway, I could set up my tripod mount directly underneath it, balance it on the gimbal, and it'll be perfectly balanced. And whenever I want to take the camera out of the gimbal and put it on my tripod, it's easy as one, two, three. And when I'm done using my camera on the tripod, I can put it back on the gimbal. It's so awesome. It's fucking awesome. All right? It, it's, I, I love it. For the most part, I don't have to rebalance it unless I do something weird with the camera. But yeah, it's awesome. I, I love it. And one other thing that I haven't figured out yet is that you could set up your camera vertically. But you could set up your camera like this. It will work. You will have to rebalance it. It's designed to, to be vertical and I love it, okay? I haven't figured out how to use that option yet, but you can use that option, all right? That option is there. And another thing about this gimbal is it has a selfie mode. It's pretty cool. Balancing, all right, let's talk about balancing. Balancing is super easy. It has locks. Once you're done balancing one axis, you could lock that axis and then balance the next axis and so on. It's really easy to balance. Um, it took me like four or five times to get the hang of it. And when everything is locked in place, it makes it easier to transport. And pro tip, make sure your camera is secure before using your gimbal. All right, I totally didn't learn that lesson the hard way. It's okay too, to be honest, because I think that's like... If you want to add an external mic to your setup, I wouldn't get my shotgun mic. <laughs> I tried so many times to balance my shotgun mic on the gimbal with my camera, but every time it would just go whoop. The Crane 2S is a lot of fun. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's mainly for work, but the Crane 2S is a really good gimbal. You know, when they say it lasts for 12 hours, I gotta believe them because when I was filming at Adrian's concert, that was like, what? Six and a half hours of filming. When I first got this gimbal, I didn't realize how much of a learning curve I would have when it comes to using it. I thought if I put my camera on it, balance it right away, I would be able to use it right then and there. But no, it, it took me a few tries. Actually, no, it didn't take me a few tries. It took me a lot of tries. The first time that I actually really got the hang of it was during Adrian's concert. And honestly, that was a lot of fun. But my biggest gripe about the Crane 2S is that its back mortar is right in front of the LCD screen. It's really annoying. And yes, there is a work way around it. You just have to unscrew some stuff and lower the back mortar. That is my one gripe about the Crane 2S. Everything else, I love. If you're looking for a gimbal that that's a workhorse that can last for 12 hour shoots, <laughs> the Crane 2S is the gimbal for you. And if you want to check out the Crane 2S, I'll leave a link down in the description. But yeah, if you guys got value out of this video, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon. And remember to set it to all, so you'll be notified whenever I make a new video like this. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.